Embakasi area in Nairobi County it is the most densely populated area in Nairobi. Due to this environmental pollution is the order of the day. A group of youth from the Victory Ministry Church have embarked on a cleaning program. A move they say aims at making sure the residents live in a safe environment. We make sure that each and every day we are collecting these polythene papers. If you can see the river within, we are doing some cleaning. Though we are lacking some of the basic uh, equipment that can make us make this place to be Clean. And as the country marks World Cleanup Day, Victory Youth are confident that with the help from the national and the county government, their work will be easier. If we get the resources that we want, we can make, uh, we can do some planting around, we can clear all that you have seen is in between the rivers, with the garbages, these polythene papers, we can dispose of them, and we can make. Uh, we can plant even trees. The government that provide data to block Ukwivi, Ukwe Ukwe kama fence. Waki block Ukwe data to kushu watoto wataingia uko. Aonyo na kujia na takata kwa ata mwago. Kwa vita kwa tu maji kilini na itapite, kwa tu ni sewage. Nairobi CBD things were not different. As environment, CS Keria Kotobiko led the exercise together with the National Environment Authority, NEMA. The two functions worked tirelessly in cleaning up Nairobi River and other parts within the city. Today is a world cleanup day and it is being marked across the world. 130 countries across the world, over 100 million people are doing exactly what we are doing here uh, in their respective communities. In Kenya, the exercise is ongoing across the, the, the country, in, in, in villages, in, in, in informal settlements, public parks and markets and so on and so forth. The theme today is cleaning up the environment to avoid COVID. The CS noted that the main reason why the country should embrace cleanliness is to avoid the spread of diseases. <laughs> Fethanula K24, Weekend Edition.